So what we're gonna cover today is grafting queens. Um, I'm gonna step you through the process of what we do, what I like to do, and let's get started. So um, I'm headed off to the apiary. Uh, we've selected two hives that uh, we really like their genes. Uh, they're pretty good at honey production. Uh, their tolerant or their uh, temperament is really calm and gentle, I guess is the proper word from industry word. But um, one of them has overwintered successfully um, with no treatments whatsoever. Uh, so obviously we like those genes we want to keep them going uh that's an italian and then we've got a carney that we want to uh, graft off of as well so uh, what you got to do is there's kind of some key things that need to take place before you do the grafting one is you need a starter hive and you know you can do that uh, get a starter hive going you know i like to go at least a day uh, before you put your queen cups in there uh, but I've heard some people say you can go as soon as, you know, a few hours after getting it ready. And pretty much what it is, it's a queenless colony with a bunch of um, nurse bees. And what that'll do is that'll help um, grow out the cells on the cups. Um, and they'll nurture them. And then we'll end up putting them in a finishing hive. Uh, or what we'll do is manipulate the starter hive and, and convert it into a... Uh, finishing hive but we'll cover that in a different video uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in I uh, can see them all uh, but these are our test hives and we're gonna take from that far one over there and then this tall one here so um, stay tuned uh, and I'll show you how uh, we graft all right so um, just got done Pulling the frames out of the hive uh, that I wanted. I've got, uh, this one's out of our uh, Carniolan. Um, I don't know if you can see in there or not. Um, but the age of the larvae is, is absolutely key. So what you want is them just past egg stage and just as they're starting to make the little C and there's a little bit of royal jelly in there. And so today it's warm. Um, I think it was 82, it's super humid. I'm sweating my butt off right now. I just got out of my suit, um, but it's not very windy. So one of the things you want to take into account is you don't want these to dry out um, or to chill. That's obviously going to kill the larva. Uh, and then you'll have a horrible success rate, if not a zero chance of grafting queens. But we've got little bees here. Um, and so what I'm using is I'm actually using, this is the German uh, grafting tool. It's got like, a little cup on one end and then like oh, it's really hard it's not focusing a little hook on the other so um dogs are chasing a deer or something um but they also make a chinese grafting one i've not used that before um i probably should order one and just try it out but it's got like a nice little plunger on it so um it really helps that when you scoop it up, you can just plunge and just gently push the larva off. This one, you just gotta kinda get a little technique. I like to use this little cup. Uh, you scoop it up and then you just kinda gently roll it off into your cup. So these are what we are gonna be using. Um, these happen to be JCBZ cups. Um, and then they will end up sitting in the starter frame. Here's the starter frame, we got these little hooks here. And so, once I get this grafted, um, you'll all have three of them in here, and then this goes in the starter colony. So, I'm going to get started. So, I'm going to start with, uh, this is my carny. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is the Italian. Um, There's a whole bunch of them in here. So it's really difficult to see, but um, having a steady hand is obviously pretty important. I don't have the steadiest of hands, so no making fun of me. I didn't, I didn't 
come off very good. So a key is, is to try to get as much of the royal jelly as you can, because that'll help in sliding the larva off. So the trick in grafting these is, and I'm by no means an expert, um, but if you, the little larva is shaped kind of like a C. You don't want one that's big. In fact, they're really, I mean, they're about the size of the egg. I mean, I wouldn't even say they're double the size of the egg. They're that small. But with the, the cup, um, if this was the, the larva, I like to pick it up from the horseshoe side and then you leave the legs just or the ends of the larva hanging off the end of this little cup and that way uh, if you get it all the way on here it's nearly impossible to get it off and that's where the Chinese grafter would probably work a little bit better um, but with this if you got those legs you can simply when you set it in the cup just touch those two ends of the larva into the bottom of the cup and then it'll kind of stick and then you can slide the tool out and um, it'll deposit the larva within the uh, cup so um, I'll just do another one here. I'll crush that one. Just get that one. So I don't know if you can see, you probably can't see it. I can't focus here on it. Okay, on to the new one, for the carnies. As you can see, I'm using a flashlight. Um, and don't hesitate, you mess a couple up or a ton of them up, it's not the end of the world. Um, so the only way you're gonna get good at it is by practicing. So, I mean, I've already wasted probably 20 of these things. Um, just cause I'm not the slightest of hand and I don't do this all the time, so. Definitely don't hesitate to give it a try. And it helps to get a little, you know, to keep royal jelly on the end of the grafting tube if you're using the German one, um, because it kind of acts as a little bit of um, a lubricant for sliding the larva off uh, with the legs or the ends overhanging your, your tool. So 
I encourage just give it a try and if you can make it work, you can. If you can't, oh well. So we got, or I've got these graft. And one of the things I didn't explain was um, these cups don't necessarily always fit really nice in this wood. So what I do is I like to drip a bunch of wax in there from the beehive. Uh, just some, you know, bird comb that I pulled out in the past. But uh, now what we'll do is you just gotta gently put everything in. You don't wanna shake it obviously because those uh, larvae will come flying out. Um, you'll put all three of these. And then what I'll do is I'll just go throw in my starter hive. Um, and we'll check back up on them maybe tomorrow, if not the next day, um, and just gonna see how it's going along. And um, you'll know, make another video on that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.